there there are some places that you win and they uh, they don't count any different in the win loss record of the column, but they just matter more. Um, even when I was at Tennessee, winning here was it mattered because of the of the rivalry, particularly you know, with football. And um, but then coming to Auburn, it was uh, it really mattered. Um, uh, Avery's done a tremendous job with this group, and to have them, you know, in fourth place in the upper division of the SEC, and um, is uh, is really something. And so we knew we had to beat a good team. We knew it was going to be a team that was much bigger than us, a team that, you know, pounds you on the glass, and they did. Um, 19, you know, second chance points. We felt good about our first shot defense, but we knew our second shot defense was going to be really challenged. And Alabama, you know, certainly. Uh, you know, dominated us uh, in that in that way, but I thought our kids made made big shots. Uh, we knew we had to knock down the three ball because of how big they are, and so we went you know small at four um, for almost the whole game, and um, and I think it, it paid off, paid dividends. Got great point guard play also from both Ronnie Johnson and Jared Harper. Any questions away from the microphone, please. Coach Pearl, talk about Ronnie Johnson and the rhythm he had early. I thought he set the tone for you guys, really the whole game, but especially in the first half. What, what, you, what you want teams to try to do is to get some kind of rhyme and rhythm offensively. And I thought that at TCU, you started to see how Ronnie Johnson and Jared Harper are really hard to stay in front of and can make plays. And so we'd be foolish not to run a fast break and make sure at some point that ball didn't get in their hands in some sort of a spread or a ball screen to let them go downhill and make plays. And uh, you know, that's what a senior, that's what that you know, fifth year senior does, be able, to, you know, be, able, be able to make those kind of plays. Second row right here. Bruce, can you talk about Dangio look more like his normal self tonight, look quicker, and also. Come on, guys. Yeah. Look like your defense built the lead there. Our, our defense has been getting better. Our kids are have a better understanding. I think they clearly understand we can't win if we don't guard, um, and um, and so that was that's something that we can build on. Um, the rebounding is a huge issue, and we've got to we got to get that fixed. Um, we we knew Dan Jones was going to play great tonight. I mean, I, I had talked to some in the media on my pregame show. Um, I felt like he was going to break out. Because he's this is this is close to home for Dan Jell. A lot of people in the building, and that ankle wasn't one hundred percent. And a lot of kids would have taken four or five weeks. He took two. He took two weeks, and he came back, and he was at no risk of further injury because it was tight. But it wasn't one hundred percent. He wouldn't push on it. He didn't trust it, and as a result, he was not as effective. But his teammates kept encouraging him. His coaches continued to believe in him. You know, and obviously. You know what? A, you know what a difference he makes. And then, you know, Mustafa, he has been our most consistent player from the start of the year throughout the season, and he's improving defensively. And understanding it's an area his game he could be as good as he is offensively. And you know, one of the other things we talked about after the Tennessee game, when we only had seven or eight assists, as I said, I, you know, we need guys. To, my breakdown guys to make plays. He had three assists and no turnovers. That's his best assist turnover ratio since he's been here. And and, and you can also I gotta find ways late in the game to get him the ball. Because he's gonna step up and make free throws. And he certainly did tonight. Questions for the players who got up there here in the front row right here. Stop it. It just seemed like when things got a little up to skelter late, it was it was clear that you got the ball, things were gonna be all right. Is, 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 is that a mentality that my focus is just get to the free throw line, especially tonight, just trying to get the ball. My focus is trying to get to the free throw line tonight, just not my free throws now. Mustafa, um, what did you know about the SEC coming from the East Coast? I it was a physical conference, um, up and down, fast pace. Over here, far left. Over here, just go to the back. Yeah, one more Go. Coach, I had a meltdown there, starting to get a little shaky again. Was that a matter of not hitting free throws early that even put you in that position? 
you know what? I don't think we, we made enough free throws. I, I don't think we did a very good job on a pressure set. And Alabama did a great job scrambling, making plays. But um, we uh, it happened at TCU, and it happened again here. And I like what we do with our pressure set. I might have to move some personnel around a little bit. Um, and uh, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. It was a big. It was a big factor. I got to find a way to get him the ball. Can I? Can I? Can I get him to inbound it and receive it? Can you do that? Like, could you inbound it to yourself? That'd be a violation, I think. Throw it off somebody's back and go get it. So. Right here, second row. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, talk, and you know, talk about how you thought you played tonight and Bruce. Talk about Bryce Brown came in four five. Um, I felt like I played very well tonight. Uh, Coming into this game, I knew it was a big game. Coaching, coaches and the uh, staff was telling us it's a big game, and we need to get this W. And and I, they gave me the ball, and I shot the ball tonight, and did fairly well. Yeah, I mean uh, Bryce, um, it's just it, it it's it's a long year, and it's a grind, and you're gonna have your ups and downs, and so. Don't ever forget that Bryce Brown's a great defender who can make shots. Just don't ever forget that. As a team, our teammates can't forget that. He makes us better at the drop back defense. Um, he can keep his guys in front. He's so strong and so athletic, and he's willing to give a great effort. And uh, Coach Person worked a little bit with him um, about his balance on his shot. He was floating. And Chuck put it through a couple of drills, and as you would expect, the rifleman would. Um, I also want to give Coach Person um, some credit. He, we had one sideline OB tonight, and um, it was short clock. And it wasn't the one at Ronnie that we turned it over. He drew that one up too. But he also drew another one up that was just a beautiful, beautiful play. And so I just want to give my staff credit. We are a family. We are, we are a team. And the guys that had the scout, the assistant coaches, everybody tonight did a, did a really good job. Five guys in double figures, everybody contributed, and my coaching staff did an outstanding job tonight. Thanks, guys.